grew up on the Altima Hall. Good at making something to do out of nothing at all. We chase white tail bucks, catch a few channel cats. Lord knows it don't get no better than that. That's just a day in the life on the Altima Hall, yeah. We live in one of the greatest parts of the country that there is. I know everybody's got their favorite, but where we're from is awesome. And the Altamaha River Sportsman is based around the Altamaha River. Sometimes though, you go somewhere else. Well, a buddy of mine invited me. He's been inviting me to go to North Carolina and go out on a charter with Captain Barry Sawyer and the Waste Knot crew. Well, I finally took him up on it. And when we went, we went on the moon. And when we got there, we were chasing tuna and we didn't know, some yellow fin, some black fin, we didn't know exactly what we'd find. They catch some big eye and they catch some uh, mahi. Well, when we got there, the water had gotten really dirty. It wasn't exactly the way we wanted. But when we went out, we wound up catching a bunch of black fin tuna. Now, we were targeting some yellow fin, we'd have took some blue fin, we'd have took some mahi, but we wound up catching some black fin. And it was awesome. Check this out. What do you think about that? I mean, every time we pull in a fish, it's 20 pounds of tuna, and it turns out to be one of the uh, best eating fish that you could have. It ain't all bad, especially if you love sushi and tuna. So we're, we're fishing with Captain Barry Sawyer on the waste knot. His crewman, Nick, is an awesome guy. You can see he works hard. He does a lot of positive things for us. And this is some tough filming in that these fish don't really jump and they don't really show themselves. So really all you're getting on this footage is when you see the fish come out of the water. But we want you to understand, this is some great eating fish. It's a great crew. They're one of the top crews out of Pirate's Cove in Man Manio, North Carolina. And this place right here is known for its tuna. We went all the way 35 miles offshore. We were fishing anywhere from 300 feet to 1,000 feet. 
and we caught a lot of fish and it was really enjoyable. Let's go put another little bar out there, another little green machine. So after I did this, I thought to myself, that'd be a great time and a great place to take the crew of the Autumn Hall River Sportsman. Got Ron and Reed and Cody and Caleb and Kaysen, and we went. Uh, you know, we're, we're inshore kind of guys, flatlanders for sure, and uh, you know, we did something a little different, a little out of our element, but I loved it. It was awesome. We went, and when we went offshore, it was rough. We're in a 60-foot fishing vessel, and the ocean's pretty big. And for me, it was it was a little a little rough. But you know what? They had, they are so masterful at their craft that they made it like it was nothing, and they fished like it was flat. Oh my God. Good fish. 
they said it's charged with that. biting it was it was awesome no doubt we lost some uh pretty good fish and we think some really big fish to sharks we got some footage of it we got some underwater footage and i think you're going to enjoy this show another triple yep is that what we're looking at we got ron we got cody we got caleb we got a first mate getting it in son get the opportunity take it go to Manio, north carolina look up captain barry sawyer aboard the waste knot and take yourself a crew and go up there and catch some of these yellowfin tuna Patrick came in and did a stand-up job for us. And as we film, we can be a little aggravating, I know, because we want him to slow down on the gaff. We want him to slow down on bringing it up. We need a little uh, camera time, so to speak. Have you ever done anything like that? Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Um, and like you said, the crew is professional. And, you know, we're, we're used to yanking on a rod, setting a hook, and they're just cool, calm, collected. You know, they know that tuna's got it. They sit you down, they, they work you through it. and. Uh, you know, they, they work really well with us as far as getting good footage and good film with the GoPros and big cameras and, and everything. But yeah, like he said, get up there and get you a taste of it. There's nothing like it. You know, we, we leave here and got to go 85 or 90 miles to get to the same order that they're fishing in 30. We wound up on this day catching, we, we cleaned 393 pounds of tuna. And that's a lot of tuna.
opportunity to go up to North Carolina and do this, but you take advantage of it, and you should take advantage of Captain Barry Sawyer and Patrick and Nick and any of the boats up in that area, but these guys are a class act. Go up there, give it a try, and go catch some fish. They put you on them, and they fish hard. <laughs> We can't do this show without the sponsors. They help pay the bills and they make it possible for us to go and do these kind of things and put them on film and show you. We'd like to thank all those folks that back us up and help us make this possible. We can't do it without the folks and uh, I can't case them back it up and say, man, they're awesome. And we really like to thank Neesmith on this one because they, uh, they got us there. It was eight hours for y'all, 10 hours for us. Chevrolet's got us there and back. Like a rock, baby. Yeah, that's right. So, hey. Y'all stay tuned with us. Come back to see us next week on the Autumn All River Sportsman. And in between, follow us down to the river. You come on y'all, just follow me down. Follow me down to the river. That old Autumn Hall. What you think you know about that old Autumn Hall, Lance? Oh, we didn't call them all we know, brother.